Hey guys, this is Fury 91 and once again, I'm bringing you a Walking Dead character bio, and today we're talking about Violet. Now, Violet is first seen on the wall, and she kind of just gives Clem this glance of, why are you here? And it kind of makes you think, oh, this is going to be a gloomy and cold teenager, and you're not exactly wrong. Violet is kind of gloomy and cold, and Violet's character in general was actually kind of predictable. Now, what do I mean by that? Not dissing anyone, but Violet's character is the type of person you kind of expect to see at a reform school. Why do I say that? She seems to be that teen that had a hard life and kind of just pushes people away because of the hard life she had and the people in her life who have either betrayed or kind of just left her. And that's kind of how her character is. Even her backstory was kind of predictable. Alcoholic father, workaholic mother. The only thing surprising was her grandmother shooting herself, really. So like I said, Violet's background and Violet's character is kind of the person that you'd expect to see at a school like that. But there's so much more to her character. Why? Because even though Violet is cold, when she's around her friends, she's actually rather warm. Even though Violet is, is reserved, that quickly breaks once she forms an attachment with you. So what is Violet's biggest character trait? It's not that she's cold. It's not that she's reserved. But it's her attachment to her friends. Violet forms attachments to people actually rather quickly. All you have to do is get away from that initial pushing away phase and then she's like right there with you. Once you're in her circle, you're in her circle. In episode two, whether you picked her or Lewis to defend you in episode one, she's the one who defends you episode two. Now, partly you can say because of the revelation about Sophie and Minnie, but it seemingly is also very protective. Violet, when it comes to her friends, she just forms that attachment and that's her main character attribute. Hence why it was such a heartbreak for her when if Clem were to choose to rescue Lewis in episode two instead of her and why she kind of withdrew herself in the Delta boat because Violet forms the attachment and a close attachment rather quickly and then all of a sudden when she feels betrayed she goes back into her whole I don't want to let anybody hurt me phase. I looked for you when they grabbed me I saw you let them take me. But it also kind of is, let's face it, just a polar opposite of Lewis. I think they just wanted these characters to be polar opposites. So even though Violet's character was kind of predictable, as I said, I still really enjoyed her character. It was cool seeing that when she was around her friends, she was a completely different character than when she was around strangers. It was cool to see that she was a character who formed attachments with these people, even though having that type of backstory where basically most of the people she cared about really, in a big way, let her down. And that's why being let down by her friends is such a big thing for her. She has a strong emotional attachment to those around her. And when she feels like you've let her down in a rather big way, she goes back into that whole reserved mode. Like, I don't want anyone to hurt me anymore. And that's basically Violet's character. Yeah. But what do you guys think about Violet? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.